NLW here, back again with another video. Today, I asked you guys some questions over on my Instagram. That's at NLW Instagram if you want to go and follow it. I asked you guys for some questions for this quick fire Q&A, and here we are. So without further ado, I'm going to start answering some of you guys' questions. Call this comic superpower. Hmm, I'm not sure. Probably like super strength. But then again, I personally would want super speed. It would just shave a lot of time off of like menial tasks. Like if I was doing a shop or something, could do it in like two seconds, get out of there, and I'm done with it. Um, I think super speed is probably the most convenient. It may not be the coolest, but it's certainly the one I'd want to have. What made me want to start animating? Um, just I liked the fantasy booking aspect of um, pick fedding and wrestling, so I wanted to have a show for my my figures. And I looked at guys like LKS, uh, WWE Steve-O, Angus the Cat on YouTube, and they kind of inspired me to start animating th that kind of style. So just kind of one day, screw it, I'm going to start and see what happens. And now 10 years later, still doing it. So very glad to still be doing NLW. And it all started when um, I was watching those WWE stop motion compilations on YouTube. What figure do I hate to pose with? Probably like The Undertaker. I, I think the bigger, bulkier guys are more difficult figures to pose with just because of the limbs. You know, I, I much prefer using uh, guys like Kenny Omega and um, smaller guys like Ricochet, because they've got more articulation. I feel like big guys like Kane, The Undertaker, they're always quite difficult to pose with. Not terrible, but I'd say, I wouldn't say I hate to pose with them, but they're certainly more tricky. Who's my fav wrestler and my favorite match of that wrestler? Well, I've got quite a few of them. So I've got like Daniel Bryan, I really like. Um, I like Jungle Boy and Darby Allen in AEW. I'm a big fan of Becky Lynch as well. Um, overall, probably like best superstar of all time, in my opinion, my favorite, um, Jeff Hardy. And if I had to say one of my favorite matches, um, aside from like the tag team stuff, the TLC matches, because those are fairly obvious, um, I don't know, I'd probably say his match against CM Punk at SummerSlam 2009 was very good. Um, and then there's also some, um, I really like the match he had against Matt Hardy at WrestleMania. I know a lot of people don't, um, but that's one of my favorites. And I also like his stuff with uh, Johnny Nitro the matches that they had. So, you know, take your pick out of all of them, basically. Who in NLW and Metal do would I say will be top stars in the future? If I could pick three off the top of my head, I'd say Adam Cole, because I want to give him the sustained singles push. Um, maybe even a champion one day, who knows? Uh, Drew McIntyre is someone who I want to push harder in the future. I know he's a big star in real life, but in NLW, I kind of want to build him up a little bit more on Metal. And lastly, you know what, I, probably someone who's not even in the company yet, you know, I'd love to bring in the guys like uh, Darby Allen and Jungle Boy and kind of build a company around them. Um, so yeah, like any of those guys. But the thing with NLW is I kind of change who I want to push on a, on a daily basis. So one day I could plan a massive push for one guy and the next day I'm just like, uh, maybe not. But um, I will uh, plan on pushing a couple of new guys into the main event scene uh, before too long. What is the future, do I think, for NLW? Well, I think I want to just continue to grow it. Um, get the product out to more people, uh, get more eyes on the YouTube channel and stuff. And I feel like it's going pretty well at the moment and um, just grow the fan base. Like I'm really happy with the interactions that I have uh, with you guys, um, you know, on social media and whatnot and on the live streams we do. Um, just trying to grow that. And as for like the product itself, like the content, just trying to branch out, maybe do a couple more stuff like this where I just sit down and answer questions and um you know up in the presentation quality investing in better crowds better lights uh you know just just little tweaks and things and the storylines you know i i feel like i'm hitting my stride with them at the moment had a bit of a wobbly year last year i mean who didn't but uh uh, just trying to improve and I will say the future for NLW is going to be very chaotic because I've got a massive storyline heading into the next Wrestlemania which I do next year so look out for that. What got me started doing my stop motion? Well I was really into my Wallace and Gromits as a kid and the Aardman stuff I was really into. I used to make like claymation figures and stuff and then I saw um, as I was saying earlier on YouTube guys like LKS and Steve-O doing WWE stop motion and I had my WWE figures and I made a couple of shows um, just just for personal use um, and then I kind of branched out started NLW and grew from there so it really started with like yeah the Ardman stuff and then the WWE figure stuff that you'd see on YouTube the stop-motion compilations back in the day and that's what kind of got me really into the whole aspect of stop-motion and pick fedding in general. Do I like football? Uh, what team do I support? I did support Man City the whole kind of Super League thing put me off them a little bit and I will cl clarify that um, I did support Manchester City before <laughs> they uh, got their oil money um, but uh, I, you know, I've kind of fallen out with football over the past few years. I haven't really kept up with it, um, but I did support them. Other than them, 
Like, I don't really have anybody I, like, particularly support. I am, uh, like, fond of uh, Borussia Dortmund in Germany, though. I think they're quite a good team, and I was when I was into football. Um, yeah, like, not not really something I follow that often these days. Do I notice some of the problems that AEW has, like unrealistic spots? Yeah, it doesn't really take away from my enjoyment as much as it does other people. I think I'm quite um, open to what... I enjoy in my wrestling, although when there are like 5-10 guys gathered outside the ring to catch one guy for a dive, it's, it takes the illusion out of it a little bit. And there's other little things like, um, you know, the blood and guts match. Uh, there are a couple of errors once everyone got in. Um, there, are, there does need to be work with AEW, but I think it still has a lot of good to offer, and I definitely recommend uh, checking it out if you haven't already. Um, you'll probably like it more than WWE is all I say, <laughs> but it, it's fun, and I, that's all that matters to me in my wrestling. Even if the unrealistic spots, um, you know, they can be improved a little bit, I think, um, and there's a lot of improvements that can be made to AEW, but on the whole, I enjoy it, so it doesn't bother me that much. How's my day going? It's going all right. I thought I'd sit down and record this Q&A while I had the chance, but thank you for asking. I'm doing all right, but thank you very much for asking. I'm glad to be recording this Q&A today. Yeah, the thing with the referee is it's much harder to animate a match with a referee, like credit to, um, I think JWS does, uh, uses a referee, but it's so hard, man. Like, you, you, first of all, you've got to think of the figures in the ring, and then you've also got to think of this referee figure to animate and it's just not worth my time in my opinion i think it probably look, make the shows look better but i'd rather focus on the actual action in the ring and improving that before i start adding you know a referee it's just it's just harder to animate another character you know why do i use old championship belts they're not that old like i do prefer the older style belts from like the attitude era ruthless aggression era so that's why i really base them on uh, those styles Honestly, I think Brian going to AEW, at least for a short term while, I think would be alright. Um, I don't think he's going to be going on his uh, tour around the indies and stuff. I think he'll probably come back to WWE after he's had a rest, but who knows, we'll see. I think it'd be cool to see him in AEW, wrap up his career and then come back to WWE for a final match. I think that would be, you know, the optimum. Um, for Daniel Bryan. I got into WWE when I was like eight, I want to say. This was back in 2006. I think I saw an ad while I was watching football on Sky uh, for No Mercy 2006. It was like King Booker and Bobby Lashley. They were hyping and I was like, oh, intriguing. So I went and checked out Raw and I think the first match I actually saw was John Cena versus Lita, funnily enough. And from there I was hooked. Um, Hogan versus Andre, eat your heart out because I got into wrestling by watching Cena versus Lita and immediately I was kind of drawn to Rey Mysterio although he, he soon got injured I think it was the first match I actually saw of his was when he got his knee busted and then Jeff Hardy as well I was a big fan of so yeah from then on uh, however many years later like 15 years later still into it pick fed can be tiring if um, if you spend too long on it and if you kind of have burnout so I've, I've suffered burnout quite a lot um, where you just get to tired of it and you just kind of get a bit stressed of it because you're just so focused on completing a show or an animation what have you um i think uh it can be tiring but it's rewarding when you watch it back so that kind of pushes you through uh what i would say any advice i'd give is just take breaks with it and don't let yourself get burnt out if you're stressed with a show just kind of take a break from it because the most important thing about pick fading animating stop motion whatever is to have fun with it at the end of the day so it can be tiring but i love um i love seeing the finished product and listening to you guys reactions to it so uh, that's what kind of keeps me going with it any tips on custom belts i'm not really the person to ask i don't make them um that often or that well to be honest um there's a couple of guys on instagram that make them very well um so i, I definitely search out some custom belts like that um for me though i just i just make belts in photoshop print them off and stick them on with custom figures uh, my advice would be to start customizing with basics and then once you're kind of confident with that move up um it can start off with fix-ups just like simply swapping the head over and um swapping out like armbands and just painting fancy attires and then going on to making custom figures of other wrestlers um you know it's just trial and error with it uh, there's going to be ways and techniques you learn i'm not the best customizer in the world i'm far from it but i feel like i'm better than when i started so you know it's fun don't break the bank is what i'd say by uh, buying a bunch of expensive figures to customize and then realizing that you've broken half of them is what i'd say i don't know if i'm going to bring back slam of the week I, the reason i had it in the first place was just to give an extra sort of segment for another match i might bring it back just in like a highlight form uh, maybe on turbo but uh for now i, I don't think slam of the week is going to come back that was more of a uh, a time where i was trying to make the shows in more of a highlight format and now it's more of a realistic show where it's live so 
I don't think I'll be bringing back Slam of the Week. I don't think the face reveal's coming anytime soon until I hit a major milestone, maybe like 50k, 100k, something like that. It's wishful thinking, but uh, if it happens, I'll reveal my face and you got my word on that. For now, I like maintaining an aura of secrecy, if you see what I mean. Well, thank you all for submitting your questions. If I didn't get around to yours, I apologise, um, but that was just a, a quick fire q and uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been as active on this channel, have got a lot going on work-wise at the moment that I'm trying to sort out. Um, hopefully, in the next month or two, I'm going to start Start making some more content, making more of those uh, TNA, AEW, is it still good kind of videos, and more custom figure hauls and things of that nature, as well as more episodes of NLW Turbo. And I'm going to try and try out some new series on this channel, see what works. Um, but that's it from me from this Q&A. Thank you all for watching. Hope uh, I've answered your questions as best I can, and I'll catch you guys later.